Did you know that stepping on or picking up Thai bot with your feet is a criminal offense punishable from 3 to 15 years in prison? Well, you do now. This video is going to cover random facts about the Thai royal family. And by the way, I took this whilst I was in Bangkok. This is His Majesty King Praram X, the current king and ruler of Thailand. And it is illegal to defame, insult, and or threaten him, the queen, the heir presumptive, the heir apparent, or the regent, punishable up to 10 years in prison. That means if you're on the street and you say, I can't stand the king of Thailand, he's stupid, and somebody hears you and reports you to the police, they will investigate. And if they do find you guilty, I beg forgiveness on my pronunciation of this name. Queen Sunanta Komarirat drowned in a boating accident because at the time it was a capital offense to touch the Queen of Thailand. However, I did read that she was rescued and resuscitation efforts were unsuccessful. But a lot of what I did read is she drowned because people were afraid to touch her because of the offense, which of course is punishable by. In 2019, the king made this woman, and please again, Forgive me for the pronunciation. My Thai accent's horrible, but I'm, I'm trying. He made her the royal noble consort. She was a longtime mistress when he was the crown prince. See, Charles, you didn't have to make her queen. Could have just been royal noble consort. <laughs> However, two months after that, he stripped her of all of her titles. You guys, I cannot make this up. In a statement released by the Thai palace, it states, and I quote, the king gave her a royal consort position in hopes of relieving the pressure and a problem that could affect the monarchy. The king went on to say, and I quote, she neither was grateful to the title bestowed upon her, nor did she behave appropriately according to her status. <laughs> he ordered her stripped of all her royal titles, decorations, status in the royal guard, and her military ranks. This apparently was a result of conflict between her and the current queen of Thailand, Queen Sutida. Remember, she is queen and she is royal noble consort, not the same. From what I read, it looks like she was overstepping her place, trying to make herself bigger than her status. Now here's where it gets juicy. During the time all this was taking place, she went missing. Mind you, this was in 2019. And until October 2021, her whereabouts were unknown. However, in 2020, specifically on August 29th, her titles and everything was restored as if nothing happened. Two days before that, on August 27th, Lat Yao Women's Correctional Prison was reportedly closed for two days in which the King's fleet was dispatched there. According to journalist Andrew McGregor Marshall, the prison is where she had been held and the events were part of a plan to transport her in secret to Munich where she would join his return in quarantine in preparation for a possible future royal pardon and restoration of her titles. I have scoured the internet and articles and I cannot find anything on this woman past that point. Maybe I'm not looking right. I don't know. I wanted to wait a while before I discuss this because, of course, it is illegal to talk negatively about the Thai royal family whilst you are in Thailand, and I did not want to be disrespectful. If you all would like a part two, please make sure you comment that below. Let's boost this video. Let's repost it. If everybody could repost this video, that would be amazing. But also make sure you comment your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.